Hello, today we are going to create collage. So collage means to glue. The French word colère means to glue. And collage is when you're cutting and gluing different pieces together. So yesterday we created textured paper. We went on a texture hunt. We did some crayon rubbings and then we watercolored over them. And so the first thing you're gonna want to do is to choose a background. So I'm gonna create a seahorse again. So I'm gonna show you how I can create the same subject, but it's going to look completely different because it is a different subject matter. So this is one that I created. Let's see what it looks like in collage. So I'm gonna choose paper. I think I'm gonna create it using this because this contrasts from the background, this blue. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna look at where I want it. I kinda want the yellow end. And I'm going to draw on the back. I do not want, I'm gonna go right up to the edge. I'm gonna draw my seahorse. And remember, it's going to be in reverse. You're gonna cut it and you're gonna flip it. So I'm drawing my seahorse shape. And you're basically gonna be drawing with scissors. Now, I can draw a fin and a crown or I can cut those out later. Okay, it's up to you. You are drawing with scissors. Okay. When you are cutting, you want to turn the paper. You do not want to turn the scissors. You always turn the paper. And you want to use long scissor strokes. Giving him a little bit of a bigger belly. I'm just going to turn the paper to cut this curve. Okay, let's see what we've got. Bing! There we go. Look at that. Okay, now I want to create the fin and the crown. So I'm going to look at the different papers I have. I've got a whole palette of different papers I can use. Ooh, I like this one. Red, got some purple. Now you might have other papers that you have found. Did any of you go on a hunt and look for packaging and mail and other papers that you might want to use? You can use those. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay. I'm going to create the crown and the fin with this really beautiful paper. So I'm not even going to 
draw it. You can draw it if you want, or you can just cut. How does that look? It's going to overlap. Ooh, yeah, I like that. And now he needs a little crown. Hmm. I wonder if I could use this. Could I use those pieces? Maybe. How will this work? Will that work? Needs one more little piece over here. Ooh, there we go. Okay, now he needs an eye. And I want his eye to be white. So. Here's some white paper. That's a big eye. I like it. So I haven't done any gluing yet. I'm starting to have a lot of little tiny pieces. And then I've got this black piece. I think I'm gonna use this. Whoops. It's kind of an interesting eye. Oh, it's really big though. Hmm, maybe I like it that big. Should I just make a bigger eye? Now, you might have a glue stick or you can do what I'm doing. I'm using liquid glue, and I'm using an old paintbrush that I don't care too much about. But I am gonna wash that paintbrush as soon as I'm done. I'm gonna wash it really well. So it will stay good. Okay, I'm gonna glue that on. And I'm gonna cut out another eye. This is gonna be a really big eye. Let's see. Oh, that's a big eye. Maybe a little smaller. Ooh, what do you guys think? You like it? Now, I can go back in and I can draw on top of this too, if I want to. I like that. Okay, I'm not gonna glue it down yet because what I wanna do is I wanna create plants, corals, I can create other animals. I'm gonna create some plants. I'm gonna do lots of layers of plants. So here's some. And I can make my seahorse grab onto those. And I'll put some out here.
And then look, I can use these for the other side. These overlap. There we go. Does that look good? What do you think? Do I need more? starting to look like at the bottom of the ocean. I like it. So whenever you're ready, you can glue, okay? I am going to make it look like my seahorse is wrapping its tail around some long seagrasses. I want some even longer ones. I'm going to use this. I'm going to cut a few very long pieces. Because seahorses really do grab on and wrap their tails around some long sea grasses so they don't drift away with the current. So here's a few long ones, maybe one more. It's always good to have threes. I'm gonna stick this one behind here. Okay, there we go. All right looks ready. Now I can always go back in and add more, but for now I'm happy with this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start gluing. I'm going to start with the eye. Now you might be using a glue stick or you might be using glue. Place it where you want it and stick it. Go ahead and stick it down. some glue up in here.
Now, what else should I add? Should I add a starfish? I could add a little starfish down here. Maybe I will use this section. And then remember, turn your paper, don't turn your scissors. There we go. add some more bubbles I could draw back into it can make eyelashes even though fish don't really have eyelashes. In your art you can make it however you want. You can even use a different material like a gel pen. So I might use Gel pen. to create more texture. So there's no rules, or there are rules and you can break them. So what do you want to do? What do you want your seahorse to look like? I could add some bubbles. I could cut out some lighter blue. Circles. Create bubbles. Remember, you don't have to make a seahorse, you can make whatever you want. Now I can arrange them and 
glue them down. Oh, that's too much glue. share this glue. Lots of papers. And I think, oh, I think I'm done. There we go. Oh, I need to glue this down. double check, make sure everything is glued down well. There we go. What do you think? Is that pretty fun? Here is the painting and here is the collage. Share your collage so everyone can appreciate your ideas.